Hey guys, I'm Typically Thomas and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a live split timer for not for broadcast speedrunning. There's two reasons I want to do this because uh, one, I really want to encourage as many people as possible to get into not for broadcast speedrunning because currently it's a little bit lonely being the only person on the leaderboard, I'll be honest. Um, so I'd very much like people to start joining me. Um, so if we go to uh, lifesplit.org slash downloads, uh, if I didn't put this in the um, in the description, please start yelling at me that I should do that. Uh, we're going to download this file right here, so we're just going to save this somewhere on our PC. I've already downloaded it twice because this is my <laughs> second attempt at recording this, um, uh, this tutorial. Um, and so once you've got that, you end up with a folder that looks like this. It's just a folder... Uh, full of um, files related to live split, and if we're just going to open that right here, I've already got um, splits loaded for not for broadcast, um, but uh, yours will probably uh, look like this, which it's a bit difficult to see on this background, so I'm going to change over to here. Um, and what we'll, what we have here is just a little timer, which doesn't look very impressive, all you can do is just make it start and just uh, reset and stuff like that. It's it's a very simple timer in the most basic way, um, which I don't know if you've seen any of my uh, my speedruns, but uh, it looks a bit better than that. It um, And I actually uh, put the uh, splits for that on, um, on the... Uh, on the resources page of the uh, speedrun.com we uh, website. So if you go to speedrun.com slash not for broadcast, um, you can find these resources where you've got these splits. So if you just click this, you can just download this uh, to your PC as well. Uh, at which point, if you go here to open splits, you can just go to from file and just select it on your PC. I've already got it preloaded here, so I'm just going to click it here. And so now we're back to what I was uh, showing you earlier. Now, this shows the um, the times from, I think, my first attempt, uh, which ultimately leads to uh, 3.31.11, which is no longer the record it used to be. Um, now it's uh, 3.27.10, um, as I'm recording this anyway. Uh, and you can also, if you want, edit the layout of the uh, of the video. So, for example, uh, of the um, of the whole thing. So you could, for example, um, if you'd like to move the splits down a bit below the timer or below previous segment or whatever, you can just change that. And you can also add little elements here, like an extra timer, which can be a detail timer or just a normal timer. You can add a list of splits and subsplits. So, for example. Um, if you want to add headlines to to days, for example, I don't know why you would want that, but you could do that with subsplits. Um, current comparison just basically keeps track of like how you're doing right now. Possible time save does exactly what it says on the tin. Um, world record, and you get my three twenty seven ten uh, in the bottom, or whichever time is the world record at that point in time. Um, and you can also add a scriptable auto auto splitter. And that one you can also find on the resources page. Uh, this was quite painstakingly made by me um, and also someone called Just Aero. Uh, they don't appear to be on speedrun.com, but they made it this whole thing which basically just helps simplify the process of making an auto splitter. And what an auto splitter basically is, is a little program that reads um, the memory of your PC to uh, check the state the game is in. So it will constantly check, is the game currently in a loading screen? If so, stop the, the timer. And if you go from one level to another, uh, it will also split in the splits in live split. So if you look back at, um, hang on, uh, yeah. So if you look back at all these little splits, you've got day one, you've got incidents, day eight, incidents. So if you start on day one and you go to the first instance of incident, it will highlight day one first, and then as soon as you go to the incidents, it will split and it will uh, show the second. So in order to illustrate that, let me just turn on the timer. So now the timer is starting to run, and you can also do this manually. So you can say split, 
and now it will just jump to the next bit. So now it thinks that I did day one in six seconds, so obviously I saved 16 minutes and 33 seconds there, which obviously is not very realistic, but so it just splits to the next uh, time, and if I now do that again, split, and basically the auto splitter just automates this, uh, automates this for you so you don't have to click split, which helps you focus on your run, which is good. So um, I'm just gonna reset it. No, I don't want to update my best times because those are bogus. Um, and so uh, that's how an auto uh, how an auto splitter works. So if you go into edit layout and add that scriptable auto splitter, you can find the script path in here. Um, I believe that it should be here. Um, think that's the one let me check because it should be an ASL file which this is not so it's not the correct file um, it should be around here oh no 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 and I never mind I think I've, I remember where it is uh, there we go not for broadcast test it does the ASL um, that's not the one from the resources page though so I'm just gonna download that one instead because I'm fairly sure huh okay that's an LSS file instead of an ASL file um, yeah, anyway, I'm just going to stick with this one, but you can use the one from the resources page. So, split after finishing a scene, so level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4. Uh, this is um, 0v50, is um, uh, telethon levels, and then level 1-4 uh, is uh, basically um, uh, uh, first one from episode 2, 1-5, episode uh, a segment to broadcast two of episode two. It's not a very consistent system. Uh, I didn't come up with it. That's the the, the not game staffs. So yell at them. Um, <laughs> you can also here in the layout settings select um, other choices for your timer, so you can change the color. If you want a transparent um, timer for your OBS, you can set it to green and then use green screening tools. If you want to do that, there's other tutorials on there. I think this one is already getting a little long. Um, you can also change the font of your timer. You can change um, other stuff. Like, for example, you can uh, make it an image if you want an image to uh, be on the background. So I've got this picture here uh, made by DJ in the uh, Not For Broadcast community of like, uh, an old school looking not for broadcast uh, game room doesn't look great for a background here though so I'm not gonna use that but you can just see how you can change these um, these little images to be your new uh, background or if you want you can have gradients for example so if I really support advance I can just set it to like teal and or you could make it like the colors of the game you know like uh, teal versus Red. Oh, hang on. Hmm. Not sure why that's not working, but uh, yeah, you can just sort of experiment with it. And um, yeah, that's that's basically it. And you can customize it in whatever way you want and whatever suits you. Um, if you're having any trouble with the auto splitter, I'm afraid I can't really help with that because I've spent way more time on that than I uh, than I care to ever do again. So unfortunately, I'm not really willing to help there. But um, if 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 you've got like small questions, I might be able to to help out with that. Anyway, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you, uh, it helped you, and um, yeah, good luck on your run. Bye.